What's up everybody, welcome to the DOM40 tutorial on how to edit a montage or frag movie for Phantom Forces. In this video, I will showcase the process of how I create a frag movie using Vegas Pro, and you will learn how to do it yourself. So, that being said, let's get started. So, here we are in Sony Vegas. This is the default layout. There's a couple things you're going to see on the screen. On the left here, this is what I would call the media center. This is where all your files will go. To the right, you have the video preview. You have your little mastering gauge for audio, and at the bottom, this here all is the timeline. So the first thing I recommend doing once you first start Vegas, if you haven't used it before, you can drag things around. So you're gonna take the preview screen, make it bigger by dragging the left part left and the right part or the bottom part down. So now that we're situated and we have a nice preview screen, what we now have to do is import your clips. Now for me, my method of recording clips is using shadow play. And when something cool happens, I just use the instant replay feature and the file automatically saves to your computer. So I have the clips I'd like to use for this video. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take them all and drag them into the project media area. Alternatively, what you can do is you can go up to the left file, import media, and you can scroll through your file explorer until you uh, find your clips. Now, of course you have audio, but the second thing we're gonna need is music. So once you have your song, you'll import it the same way you imported your other media. I simply drag and drop it. So now you have pretty much everything you need here to create your video. Now, there's some people that like to put all their clips in the video first, then find a song that matches the length of every clip. However, I'm the opposite where I like to start with a song and then I'll get enough clips until I can fill the song up if that makes any sense. You'll probably understand uh, what that means at the end of the video. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our music and we will drop it in our timeline. Now the music will appear, you hit play, you can hear it. And I think that's a little bit uh, loud right now, just for me personally. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take this audio slider here and I'm gonna turn this down about 10 decibels. So now that that's situated, the first thing I'm going to do here is cut out this little bit of uh, like empty audio at the start of the song. So you can click on, so you can click around the timeline to uh, select more specific times. Uh, you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out to get more precise. So first you want to select the media you want to edit by just simply clicking on it. And then there's two ways to get, I would get rid of this. You can either hit S to split it, delete the first part and move it to the start or alternatively, what you can do is you can just take the front here and drag it over and it'll snap to the cursor and then you can move it. So now the song will start instantly. So another tip I have is to save very often. Saving often will save you. So I'm gonna save this as tutorial. Editing software is prone to crashing. So always save. Now what we can do is start adding our clips to the timeline. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, intervention multi I have here. And f when you first drag a video clip, what's gonna happen is it's gonna match your project settings to the video settings. And basically what that means, if you record at like say 1080p and 60 FPS, your project here will also change to 1080p and uh, 60 FPS. Right now it's 30 F FPS right now, but if I hit yes, it's gonna match the frame rate of uh, the video we just imported. So now it is 60. If you wanna manually change project settings, you can go to this gear here in the top left, and there's plenty of settings for you to change like the width and height of the video and the frame rate. So we're just gonna hit okay. And first thing, whenever you drag any new media into Sony Vegas, please listen to this. This is the most important. You wanna right click on it, go to switches, and disable resample, okay? Resample is a type of motion blur that uh, is native to Vegas and it looks terrible and it's very laggy and it doesn't load on your computer when you try to render it. So I highly recommend disabling resample. So obviously this full recording is not the clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click around the timeline until I find the point where the clip kind of starts. And that would be sort of around here. So I'm gonna split the video here and I'm gonna delete the part I don't need so now I have the song, the music, and my game audio. And because I can't use my game audio in this because I have like music playing in the background in the game. So I'm not gonna use the, the game audio for this video. Of course you can use game audio if you want. I personally think it sounds pretty good. So definitely do try using it sometimes. 
see what you like, but I can't use uh, the audio in this clip. So I, what you're gonna do is when you drag a clip in, uh, the audio and the video are gonna be tied together. So you're gonna right click it, go to group, and you're gonna clear the group. That means you can delete the audio uh, separate from the video. So now we just have the music and the uh, the music and the video, and obviously this is what it'll look like. So if you saw in the clip there, I didn't kill the last guy. So um, you can either include, I, I really recommend like including deaths in your clips. Um, some people like to cut them out, I mean that's fine. I'm going to cut it out for this one because there's a lot of empty time where I just ran around and did nothing. And also, also the song changed, uh, the beat picked up on the song. So you don't want to have nothing happening when the song's picking up. So I'm going to find the last kill, which was on this guy and then I ran away. So about here's where I want to end the clip. So here's where I'm going to end the clip. And to end it, what I'm going to do for this is I'm just going to grab the right side here and drag it back. So now it'll end here. Which now means I need to add a new clip. And to keep up the same theme, I guess, I'll use the other desert clip with the intervention. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I'm going to look for the first kills at the start of the clip. That looks like it is about right here then I'll I will split it delete the first part then I'm going to clear the group delete the uh, other audio and disable resample now there's two things you can do that well there's more than two but the two basic things to intertwine clips together is just the plain old one after another or the other uh, more popular one is the crossfade now, if you have two, two things on the same level here on the left side, if you drag them over each other and they overlap, they will, fit, uh, they will fade into one another like this. So whether you want that or not is up to you. Because the song, uh, because the other clip ends where the song kind of picks up and the beat picks up, I'm just going to have it cut because I think that'll just feel better to watch. I, yeah, I certainly think that looks a lot better. So just for the sake of time, I will find where the clip kind of ends now, which is after this jump shot here, and me pulling the bolt back. Yeah, because I missed the last guy. So I jump, I pull the bolt back, and then I can end the clip. Now I'm going to grab my next clip here, now that I'm happy with that. I'll grab the MP5K one again. I'll kind of find where the clip starts. I will delete the first half, clear the group, delete the audio, and then disable resample. Now here what I'm gonna do is I'll fade these clips uh, into one another. I will do the crossfade this time. And I like how that looks. So again, I'll find uh, the end of the clip here. This one was a more long one. I think this was like a 15 man multi and I think I get the last kill. Was it there? So I got the last kill there. So I'll end the clip around where I uh, around where the I got the kill, the final one, and then move on to the next one. I'll explain the process one more time. Find where the clip starts. Split. Delete the delete the front part. Clear the group delete the audio, disable the resample, rinse and repeat, do the crossfade, we're going to see how this looks. Here in this clip, I die. I'm going to leave this death in uh, just to show people, you know, sometimes I die in the game. Kind of a crazy thing to think about. Um, dying is always a good thing, you know, for ending clips because, I mean, you just die, the clip's over, you know? There's kind of no, what's the word, ambiguity at all. So I have one more clip for this example. I'll find where it starts. 
which is about is it here? It's, so it starts right here so select my media split delete the first part clear the group delete the audio disable resample and intertwine these together now just because i only have these five clips that i've used in other videos and i don't have any new ones these are all just example clips stuff i've used before and i'll kind of show you how to like end a song or a video but first we're going to watch this make sure it looks good make sure i disabled resample so all this looks pretty good and the clip just kind of ends here because i started missing so what i'm going to do is find the last kill and then kind of just end the clip right here and um there's still a bit of song left usually i would try to get enough i always i would try to get enough clips to fill up the entire song but i'm not going to do that just for the sake of the video however i will show you how i like to end my videos and that is with just a nice little fade out i like to fade the audio out longer than the video and to fade the audio out there's this triangle this blue triangle in the top right what you're going to do is you can grab it slide it to the left and the audio will fade out and now if you want to change how the audio fades out you can right click I guess not. I guess it's not working for me right now. You can, okay, there we go. You can right click kind of uh, the black bar that shows the fade and you can change kind of the wave or the pattern that the audio fades out. So this is what it'll sound like as the audio fades out. It gets progressively quieter. So I think that fades out a little bit too soon. So I'll drag it out and change the pattern one more time. And I'll also fade my video out as well. I'll make the, the fade out of the video a little bit shorter and also lengthen this just a little bit. So that looks a lot better. It's a little scuffed, of course, because that wasn't the true end of the song. But that is basically my process for creating videos, or uh, montages and frag movies, rather. I made this video to kind of maybe help some people out and show them that really editing a video is not so hard. And with a program like Vegas Pro, it's actually really easy and pretty straightforward, very streamlined. So if you're one of the people that wants to make a video but you don't really know how, don't be afraid of it. Don't beat yourself up. Just try it out. Hope this helps. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.